The Roman Republic is coming to an end, but not before a power struggle between Caesar and Pompey. Players will command their legions, strategically deploying them to key battlegrounds. This isn't flavor text. Where's the flavor text? That, that was pretty much flavor it's text. It's not. The very first sentence was like hinting at flavor text, and then it went to game mechanics. They don't realize who's playing this game. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Hello, hello. Welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. Today we are playing Caesar, or Caesar, or Caesar. By PSC Games. E tu, Brute. The... Caesar, he's the one who got stabbed by Brutus. High school was a very long time ago. That was English class. That's awful, dreadful memories. Don't bring that up ever again. I come not to you to condemn Caesar. Okay. But there's I'll go the whole, there's like a whole, there, I should have learned it beforehand. There's a whole speech that was yes. given on the steps to the Colosseum. I do remember that. It's very emotional. I do remember. All right. Do you want to give us an overview of exactly what this game is? Because this is going to be following the lineage of Blitzkrieg, which is a game you and Alex absolutely adore. Fantastic game. We're going to be doing a gameplay of that as well on the advanced mode or the variant mode. And, and then, then we're going to do a head-to-head -head play this, play not, this that. not that between the two. So Caesar is a two-player head-to-head arena battling game. You are fighting for area control using tokens that are two-sided such as these with symbols on them. The symbols restrict where you can place them on the different boards and you have to line them up so that one number's in one area, one number's in the other area, and those are going to give you control in each area with that number. Some numbers might be like this, zero and seven, which means you might be forfeiting one area to get the other area and have more control there. These, when whoever closes the area will get the token. Whoever has more control in that area will get to put out one of their markers. The first player who gets rid of all their markers wins. Each one of these pieces gives you extra powers and abilities. Keep talking. I'm looking up the speech. Oh, keep talking. Powers oh, you and use abilities. Safari. I was looking for Google Chrome. I don't use Chrome. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so offensive. We're playing with both of the expansions. We're playing with the Centurions and we're playing with the Poison. So the, these guys are the Centurions. Instead of drawing from your bag at the end of your turn, we get to ha select one of these three special ones that have a little bit more options. So this one has two different symbols. So you can place it on the boat and the cross. This is the wild symbol. It could be placed anywhere on the board. And this is a more powerful seven and zero. I believe the highest numbers are six and zero in the bag. Um, and then poison this is the other expansion we're playing with. And there was a poison on the board right here, which means instead of starting with two tokens behind our screen, we're going to be starting with three tokens behind our screen because we are going to be able to kill and poison the other players. Pieces. Did you find the speech? Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar, that noble Brutus. Hath told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it were a grievous fault. And grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, under the leave of Brute and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral? He was my friend. Faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransom did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the Lupercal... I thrice presented him the kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me. Is that it? It's beautiful. Just let it be it. It's so beautiful. Let's play. We needed flavor text. No, oh. they refused to print flavor text. Take your turn. What are you gonna do for? <laughs> what are you gonna do for Blitzkrieg? Oh, don't worry, no one's watching at this point. Yes, I know. You bored everyone to pieces. Uh, we read like a section of Mein Kampf. 
<laughs> no? Is that... Wait, that's thematic to Blitzkrieg, isn't it? It is very thematic. There we are. See? I'll have to Google that one. I haven't, I haven't dug in. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> this, is, this is a really puzzly game. This is a very, very hard game. And instead of reading poetry, I should have been strategically looking at where I'm placing out. I always go first. Does red always go first? One color always goes first. It doesn't oh. matter. I just I know where I'm going already. You Anyways. already you've already like uh, com completely established. Yeah, I already established the whole turn sequence in order of how this game is gonna go. No kidding. Kidding. Mm. So I am going to go. This is a very powerful piece that I'm playing too, which makes this even more of an issue. You started with three back there, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I started with all three. I'm going to go right here. Would you place? Six and zero. You're going for Italia. Not me. Not you? Not I. All right. I'm going to go three Z's. Okay. Also Mark and Italia. Putting down a boat. Now, it's funny because ah. every time we've played, uh, every time we've played, we've actually taken different approaches like we've had some where we started on the outer edge yeah and really like gently and loosely closed in we've had some where someone was able to pressure the other player into flipping tokens i like them all they all have uh they all have value to them i'm gonna establish that right there it's weird because it's like a game of not closing things off until you're ready for them to be closed off that that's a big part of it it's also a game i, I think the more you play with the same person the more you start having to shift because you've seen what they can do each time. Yep. And you also are forcing things to be closed because as you are driving things home, you are not only closing edges, but you're also limiting where people can place. Yeah. Like now in Italia, it's only shields or wilds, I suppose. Correct. <coughs> and if I play, then you get to close it and you get that. I would get token. control. Right, which is why it's very frustrating. Yes, which is why you should, of course, play up there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And sooner or later you'll get to a point where there is no option... But to start closing them all. But to start closing them all. It reminds me of that game with the dots that you make the lines and try to connect them and you, like, go for as long as possible without making an area. I mean, is it the worst thing for you to get that? Someone's going to have to give it up. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and I think I could win it. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? What'd you put there? Six. Six. It's Fourteen. So much. Now, you also might not have a wild or a shield, which could change the conversation as well. Because yeah. there's a chance you just couldn't go there. Closing it. Getting the keep. But now I score two. Yep. Which is fine. There aren't that many keeps out there. As long as I keep you from getting the, the next Pantheons, mm -hmm. that might be a trade that I am okay with. All right. What else do we need to keep doing? Let's do... Words and not parts. Let's do that. Oh. You've presented me an opportunity. Oh, but you're also taking an opportunity in some ways. No, I think this is fine. Yeah, this should be fine. So, this is going here. Oh, I forgot that this. dumb thing. Oh my gosh, it gives you a second turn. Yes, it does. Uh, and I get that. I mean, I saw what you were doing, and it's a brilliant play. I forgot that. If only that, that wasn't, wasn't the, the piece the there. Because the now, of okay. course, I'm going here. And taking that and placing down two. You don't get to place in there. I don't, you don't. Oh, wait. Is there... Oh, that actually hurts. Okay, you place down one. I get no. one. I know. Oh, I was taking it back. Uh huh. I'm both. We're both disappointed. Very. 
was not how I was anticipating that working out we're at both, all. Well, we're both disappointed, so. So that makes it better? No. It does no we've, such... Lit, we've both had a bad day. No. What? No. You evil person. This. This. When did that end up available? I don't know. I just noticed it. <laughs> I don't um, even. I don't even. I immediately dropped it. You must. You token. made it. You must have made it available, and I, I must didn't see it. I mean, you've now set up the shield, though. Hmm. Which is fine. I'm going here, which is going to pull. Uh, but I'm going <laughs> to give that to you. Yeah, that's what I set up. I set up the shield. All right. I think. I think I'd rather give that to you than take it. And we're going to put in. This into my bag. No, it doesn't go in your bag. Does it not? It goes in one of your available Centurion tokens. Instead of drawing at the Does end of your it? turn. Yeah, it goes straight in front of you. Immediately. Yeah. Well then, let's go ahead and... And you also have control over that area. And you have adjacent. So, can you... Adjacent places tokens on adjacent. Adjacent places token there, right? Yeah, it should. So. I don't think you have to control the adjacent region. I think it's you when have you, to... have, when no, you have... No, you have bordered. to. Yeah, bordered. Uh, all right. Well, that's a no-brainer. We can check that while you go. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty obvious yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very obvious play. I'm doing this. Taking this. Putting down one, two, three. Oh, there's another expansion called Border Control. We need to make we need to add that in sometime. Yeah. And yeah, it shows the example literally shows opposite yep. colors. You went there, you put down three. Mm-hmm. Because I picked up a center. Yes, but now you've established the opportunity for the spear. And that's necessary. And the spear is gonna let me flip one of your so I take this. Now I can flip one of your tokens. I wanted to reduce your impact on a region. And I think this is the one that needs to be flipped. Okay? Yeah. Sadly. Hmm. Hmm. Don't, don't, don't like the way the board is set up right now. I don't mind the board set up at all. I know you don't because it's favoring you. Well, well, I mean, many things favor me. Mm. The bold do specifically. Okay. You, you want that last middle one. That's what you're desperate for. Could give you a spear if I didn't care about it. Or I could put you in a hard spot on the spear. Going for the poison, too. You want to steal something from me? No, no, not I. Uh-uh. What? That was such a dumb move. I should have seen that one up there. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I let you do that to me. I was so <sighs> smart. I was going to make you choose between the two tokens. And you did choose between the two. What's the play? That's interesting as well. A little doggy snore. I think you're going to be able to take this from me, but let's see. Two, five. I'd have to have had a seven. You know there's no such thing as a seven, right? I mean, I have a seven. Yes, you do have a seven. Um... However, it's a great opportunity to put this down and take the token, which means I get to choose one of these things. All right. Okay. You get to put in that area. Not only that. One, two, and you also border this, so right here. Nice. And then Three. I place down that, is that gonna be game? which gets me poison, which is going to kill one of yours. One. That's game. 
Good job. And I take this. No, you don't. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you won. I win. That was so anticlimactic. Oh, uh, that went well. Oh, so that was very effective. So frustrating. It is interesting. Every game is different, though. Yeah. Like the last game we played, borders and closed in on Italia. Yeah. Like this game, we went oh. headfirst for it. What are you doing? You always dump it like this. Yeah, it's so much fun. Oh, it's not fun it's at the all. the best part of the game. All right, well, we're going to spend some time cleaning this up. And jump uh, into Blitzkrieg. Yeah, we're going to jump into Blitz Blitzkrieg, and then we're going to do a review of the both. Um, I might do, like, a dedicated teach video or something on this as well, because no one has content on Caesar yet. That's fun. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's got to be, I think it's going to be popular. What do you think? I'll save that for the video. Like, how well how well did Blitzkrieg do? Is Blitzkrieg a famous game? Well, I'm just wondering. Like, is Blitzkrieg a famous game? Or is Blitzkrieg know. a... I'll have to do the data. Yeah, we'll have to take a look. Because I'm curious. Because I, I could see myself doing a solo game, yeah. dedicated how to play, but I don't... I, you know, the question is, does the game... Warrant it. ...justify, you know, four videos on Check it? Check up Blitzkrieg stats. Five videos on it, actually. Review... Gameplay, solo, teach. That's still four. This, play this, not that. Or is that the review? That was the review. Cool. Well, that's going to be a gameplay. If you haven't clicked on one of the links, like, leading you to other videos yet, I don't know why. I appreciate the dedication, and honestly, um... Of not people, clicking? Well, the people that are here, they're, they're already AFK on the stream. They're just... What does like, the they, they put mean? it in the background while they're watching, like... What the is, baby, or... What does AFK mean? It's, it's like a way something. It's like a way not here. It's it's a computer term. Oh. They're just, they're not, they're, they're not actually watching. The people, like, the, the, you know, the people that are here... Really? Well, they fell asleep. It's the same thing you do when you watch TV shows. You fall asleep and just they, you're playing in the they background. They put it, it's playing, like, they're yeah. hearing us voice. Like, it's kind mm -hmm. of... It, it's probably someone sleeping that is feeling very uncomfortable about this. Like, their dream <laughs> is now going, like, wake up, wake up. Yeah, let's bye, let's baby. tell them. No, 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 no. Wake, wake up. Hey. Wake up. Hey, you left your you left. Hey, you left your computer going. No, it's gonna overheat. Wait, wake up. Hey. Wait. Wake up. 